You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments below. Be sure to smash that like button. Brian Kelly's done it again. He picked up two more transfers on Tuesday. That brings LSU's total now to 11. This should not be a surprise. We've talked about it for weeks. Months, actually. And my contention even during the season was if ever there was a time where you know a, a new coach coming in had the opportunity to rebuild a roster quickly, it was this year unique in the literal sense of the word because there's never been a year like this where you had the transfer portal, you had immediate eligibility, and you could sign seven transfers over the 25. So you could sign 32 players. There's just never, literally never been a year like this one before. And Brian Kelly and his staff are taking full advantage. So they had two new prospects on, uh, on Tuesday, both linemen. Let's start with the offensive lineman in Tremont Shorts. So Tremont Shorts from East Tennessee State uh, pledged his commitment to LSU. Um, and uh, Brian Kelly earlier today, massive get for a lot of different reasons. If we just look at how Bama and Georgia have built their programs, it's inside out. There's lots of programs that have great skill guys. But when you're dominant at the line of scrimmage, you control the game. Look at how Georgia whipped Alabama late in the national championship game. This ran over. And I'm not telling you that, that LSU is in that territory yet. But where they were before the transfer portal was perilously thin. You've added Miles Frazier on the offensive line from FIU, one of the highest graded linemen in pro football focus. And now you've added Tremont Shorts as well. Let's go through a little bit of his bio, I'll give you a little of a backstory of him. Maybe the most important thing here is how veteran he is. Yo, know, Tremont Shorts, his birthday is August the 5th, 1999, which. <laughs> But, well, if you're my age or older, you're looking at 1999, you're thinking he's a baby. But just in the framework of college football, y'all, he's going to be 23 years old when the season kicks off. Say that again. He's going to be 23 years old when the season kicks off. He signed with East Tennessee State in 2017. The, Ed Ogeron's first year, the year they lost to Troy, that was his, his freshman year. He redshirted, but that was his first year in college. He was basically... On campus, the same year Austin Deculus got to Baton Rouge. <laughs> Imagine if Deculus had another year. That's what this is like. Redshirted in 2017. In 2018, played in all 12 games with 10 starts. 2019, started all 12 games. 2020, they played a spring season in the FCS. Started all six games. And this year, started all 13 games. He has started 41 of the 43 games in which he has played in his college career. You have a guy that is 6'4", 326 pounds, who can play anywhere on the line of scrimmage, has said, told 247, I can play center guard or tackle. It really doesn't matter to me. I just consider myself an offensive lineman. Apparently, Brian Kelly and his staff, Brad Davis, are recruiting Tremont Shorts to be an interior lineman, and it makes sense. You return Cam Wire. You've signed Miles Frazier. Those are very likely your tackles. You've also got Will Campbell coming in. You, you feel pretty confident about Garrett Dellinger playing right tackle, probably not a, a college left tackle. But the point is, you feel good about your starters at tackle. You need to replace the interior of your line. You lose Liam Shanahan. You lose Ed Ingram. And you lose Chase and Hines. You're replacing all three starters on the interior of your line. And now you have a guy that can do one of two things. He can either push Charles Sterner to be your starting center, a guy that's played again 43 career games with 41 starts, or if Charles Turner establishes himself at center, this is a guy that can be a, a starting guard for you who's been an FCS All-American. Now, 
he had no ranking coming out coming out of high school. Redshirted in 2017, but earned all conference honors every year he's been a starter. 18, 19, 20, and 21. So every year he's been there, he's gotten better. And that happens. We talk about it a lot. There's sometimes where guys just who aren't developed at 16, 17, 18 are developed at 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 years old. And that appears to be the case here with Tremont Shorts. Big question, obviously, is what position will he play? And can he move up in the level of competition and be a, a good SEC lineman? And that's a fair question. Yo, Liam Shanahan, I'll remind you, was all conference in the Ivy League. Played three different positions in the Ivy League. He got pushed around in the SEC. God bless him. I mean, kid worked really hard. Smart guy, talented, made all the calls, everything, played a position he hadn't played since high school. But physically, Liam Shanahan was not on the same level with a lot of the defensive linemen that he had to face. That's not a knock on him. It's just the reality. Like You could knock someone if they have a lot of you know, missed assignments and other things like that. If you're just physically getting beat by better players, there's, there's nothing you can really do about that. That happened to LSU the last two years. We'll see if it does here with Tremont Shorts, but he's going to have the opportunity. If nothing else, you have a guy that, with a ton of experience that can add depth and push your young lineman, or best case, you have a ready-made plug-and-play starter who's got 43 career games, under collegiate games under his belt, who's ready to immediately make you better at a spot where it, it was your most maligned position position group this year on the offensive line. I mean, listen, there are examples of guys who play at a lower level and take the step up, and you think they're going to be great taking that step up because they stair-stepped, and it doesn't work out. Remember Badara Traora? Badara Traora came to LSU from JUCO, and he was supposed to be the starting left tackle. And I remember watching that dude in the spring game that year at right tackle, and I think it was Ryan Baker maybe coming off the end or whoever, or maybe it was Andre Anthony. And Badara Traora looked like his feet were in in cement. Like, say cement or cement. I guess it depends on where you're from. Either way, it was just very clear he was never going to be a tackle at the SEC level. Remember Javante DeMond? Same thing. And then sometimes you have Damian Lewis, who comes in from, the, from Ju, Juco and is an immediate starter. A dude starts for you for two years and then is a rookie starter in the NFL. Like, sometimes that happens. So we'll see which is the case here with Tremont Shorts, but LSU adds another body on the offensive line, a guy that has been um, has played a ton of football, FCS All-American, uh, had offers from Mississippi State, North Carolina, some other Power Fives, and it's a def desperate position of need as they continue to rebuild uh, this roster altogether. So Tremont Shorts joins LSU. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact, and be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.